could there be someone who dares to interfere with the cycle of life? Are you going to Beast Yeast? My mission is to trace and vanquish the darkness. I shall catch the northeast wind and leave right away. Be careful. Do not get hurt. <sighs> Millennial Tree Cookie, I sensed your anguish. Ah, my faithful wind that brings blessings of life to all. The roots have brought me a message. Set foot in the abyss of the darkness you shall not, for its whispers will divest you of your purest life force and leave you hollow. has brought me here, beast yeast. It seems as though the land itself is devouring the power of life. The cycle of day and night is irregular. There is something foul in the wind. <sighs> the abyss of darkness and its whispers. What could this mean? Did Millennial Tree Cookie see something sinister amidst the ever-changing threads of time? <laughs> I must focus. My mission remains unchanged. I will see that no dark spawn threatens our world. like an ancient tree stump oozing dark, foul sap. And yet, inside is an endless maze-like cavern with walls of sleek metal. Where does it lead? And what awaits me at the end? was the last one. I hear footsteps. Two cookies. Initiating life energy siphoning sequence. Awaiting your signal. Transmitting signal. Three, two, one. Machine activated. Life energy accumulation rate is within optimal parameters. Energy vault status, normal. Siphoning machine is running at full efficiency. No deviations found on all stages of the deceit protocol. Whew. 
<sighs> Whatever for do they need not one, but two cookies to turn the machine on? Life energy is the cornerstone of our research. Siphoning it is the crucial first step of the process. That is why we called it the Deceit Protocol. It's important to ensure that it goes smooth as butter. Yeah, yeah. I can see why they say you never make mistakes. <laughs> Hurry up. We have a lot to do. All right, all right. They said that siphoning life energy is but the first step. But to what end are they planning to use such power? I must learn more. Feel the flutters of life blowing in from the west. Commence the Soul Protocol. I said, commence the Soul Protocol. Are you listening to me? Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry. Focus, focus. A small miscalculation and the dough will end up imbued with a soul. 
I know, I know. Let me turn this thing on. The dough is not reacting. Next batch. Changing specimen. Hey, you know, isn't it odd if you think about it? Is there a problem with the specimen? I mean, don't you think it's peculiar? The goal was to make a vessel for a beast cookie's soul, right? And yet, here we are, making sure the dough is not imbued with a soul. Aren't we doing the exact opposite? Uh, they would have informed us of any changes. We are making sure the dough is not imbued with just any soul. Only those matching the beast cookie's parameters. The superiors have everything figured out. Keep your head down and make sure the work is done. A reaction. It's rather unsettling. Let's dispose of it. A vessel? For a beast cookie? Dough. Life energy. Souls. Whatever they are trying to achieve goes against the principles of nature. <sighs> the deeper into the cavern, the more foul it becomes. I can feel it. The corrupted life energy crackling in the air. The dough vessels promised for the Fallen Ones must be near. Finally, the last protocol. Let's get it out of the way and clock out. This one should be easy. Commencing the Destroyer Protocol. We will now place the dough in the separator to completely remove the remaining impurities. To destroy its last remnants of identity. How very sinister. Good to see you so focused on the job. You've been rather distracted lately. It's just... I'm surprised you're so calm. I'm telling you something is amiss. Why do we need so much dough? There are only five vessels. Oh, it's quite simple. To deliver impeccable results, we need to continue our tests. And these tests require test subjects. Oh, seriously? Why are you so keen on turning a blind eye thing to whatever is going on here? You said I was distracted? I'll tell you what's keeping me distracted. It's because we're no better than these soulless blobs of dough. Because we're expected to keep our mouths shut, keep our heads down, and just carry on with all these protocols. You heard what the other teams have said. They've managed to imbue dough with a soul. It's a fact. The Beast Cookie's body was a success, too. One of those has already left the compound, I hear. And what do you know? They oh so conveniently change all the protocols right after that. <laughs> a coincidence? Oh, there's got to be something else at play. Something the superiors don't want us to know. But there are signs. I just know it. Because I'm not just some soulless doe. I'm a living, thinking cookie. How many times must I tell you, whatever our superiors are planning, it's none of our business. Less talking, more working. Better help me out with that tray of dough. I understand you're upset, but we have work to do. Straighten that tray before the dough spills over. No way. Not again! Why am I so keen on turning a blind icing, you ask? Because if you keep snooping around... You will disappear without a crumb! Did I not stress this from the very beginning? Oh, I most certainly have. How many times has it been? <sighs> Perhaps I should specifically request a sharper teammate next time. Before I lose the last vestiges of my sanity! <laughs> <sighs> this sound... I sense a sinister presence beyond this door. A presence feeding on life energy. Foul spawn of the pitch black abyss. I must unravel the secret of this place.
The winds of war have guarded us. Stop hiding amidst the shadows and reveal yourself! Ah, my faithful wind that brings blessings of life to all. I have been expecting you. <sighs> Foul creature. How dare you insult Millennial Tree Cookie's name with your trickery? Oh! <laughs> Ooh! What's that smell? Did someone pass wind? Get it? Because you're Wind Archer Cookie? <laughs> Am I not hilarious? Anyhow, hi! You shouldn't have left your prison, Spawn. I shall make you shut your mouth once and for all. <laughs> oh, I thought you already started making me. I said, it's an honor to be recognized. <laughs> mm, you have one problem, you green bean. I am but a bodyless spirit. You can't silence me. Although, I'm expecting to gain a physical form any minute now. It is only a matter of time. Phew! Thank creators, I know how to bend the other space to do my bidding. My friends and colleagues do not have that luxury at their disposal. You are nothing more than a phantom. Hey, I'm over here, Greeny. Did no one ever teach you it's rude to look away when talking to someone? Not to worry. When I finally gain my new body, I will bring about my very own empire of lies. Good manners will be of little import there. Not if I send this abomination back to nature. Ah, and scene. What a delivery. Someone's been practicing their lines. But I wonder, is that all there is to your role? What are you saying? Mmm, that won't do. Must I really spell everything out for you? Listen. Listen carefully. Seriously, don't you hear it? Still nothing? Well, what can you do? You better thank your lucky stars. I'm here to tell you. The screams. Oh, the screams. The screams of countless creatures. No. Hundreds. Thousands of lives, cruelly ripped away from nature's embrace. Oh, you're looking a little green around the edges. Do you perhaps find this repulsive? Oh, you elemental cookies. Interested only in the pure pretty things till the end. But who am I to blame you, really? What is going on in this place? Think, Greeny. Think. Really? Why would we need so much dough? I don't have that many friends in need of a new body. <laughs> Besides, one of them has already got a shiny new bod. Oh, come on now! Use that big noggin of yours to figure it out! The answer lies deeper. Much deeper. In the darkness where my dough is imprisoned. I've heard enough of your foul riddles! You will reveal the truth, here and now! Will I really? Your dough reeks of fear. I can sense it. Set foot in the abyss of the darkness you shall not. For its whispers will divest you of your purest life force and leave you hollow. These words... How did you... Oh, did I sound like a someone you know just now? Yes, the soul dam whispers many truths, one better than the other, all served with a drop of good old deceit. Now which one do you like more? After many a hardship, the stalwart guardian of life crumbles and becomes one with nature he loved so dearly. <gasps> a tragedy, really. Or perhaps he just flees, tail between his knees. So much for his noble mission to eradicate those pesky minions of the darkness. Some stories do end like that. As long as the audience gets a good laugh out of it. Am I right? <laughs> Millennial Tree Cookie spoke of great peril awaiting in the deep abyss. Yet there is a grain of truth in the ocean of lies, where this sinister whisper leads me lies the domain of the great darkness. I shall fulfill my mission. 
My arrow will pierce the darkness, even if my body crumbles and turns to dust. The howling wind of life is about to be silenced by the whispering of deceit. The roots are lamenting. The screams of all those creatures, corrupted, unable to return to nature's embrace. <laughs> so, are you ready? Time to crawl back to Millennial Tree Cookie. Oh, come on! I'll show you the way! Here, right through this drain together with our discarded experiment specimens. I've heard enough of your filthy words! My sacred purpose is to rid the world of the darkness's spawn. And I will follow my mission right into the black heart of it! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold your wind, my little green friend. Are you serious right now? Dearest audience, did you hear what our hero just said? Applause! Applause! Let's give this noble seeker of truth a round of generous applause! For he is going to fly straight into the fire like a foolish little moth. <laughs> no sound but the wailing of the sacrificed lives. Darkness. Approaching, yearning to devour. Initiating life energy siphoning sequence. Why do we need so much dough? There are only five vessels. You heard what the other teams have said. They've managed to imbue dough with a soul. It's a fact. Think, Greeny, think. Really, why would we need so much dough? I don't have that many friends in need of a new buddy. <laughs> oh, come on now. Use that big noggin of yours to figure it out. Are you ready to go down the drain, Greenski? I'm growing weary of your clownage. Answer me. You've gone as far as corrupting the sacred life force. Tell me, what are you scheming here in the dark? This is... All right, all right, if you insist. Ta-da! Behold, the ultimate cookie. You foul beast! What have you done? Uh, wrong! It wasn't me, you see. I admit I did graciously provide a little help in gathering all this life energy. Think of it as a fair exchange between colleagues. A favor for a favor, so to speak. After all, Dark Enchantress Cookie built a body for me. The ultimate cookie. Uh, so shiny, so strong. A real showstopper, is it not? But to make and throw away all that dough just for the sake of one cookie? Such sinistry is a genre of its own. <laughs> is this all a joke to you? When that... Abomination awakens. It will bring about an age of despair. Finally! <laughs> I was starting to think you'd never figure this out. Oh, but don't worry, Belle. You won't live to see the coming of that new age. For your dough, too, will nourish the ultimate cookie. <laughs> Oh, looks like Dark Enchantress Cookie's little friend is here, and not a moment too soon. This is it, Archie! Time to perish! <laughs> <laughs> oh, not so bold anymore, are we? <laughs> Oh, tough luck. Looks like your arrows are no good with all the resonance coming from the oven. Will you stop talking? I am losing this battle. I might not be able to prevent the awakening of the beast cookies and the dough in the oven. And yet, I must destroy the ultimate cookie at all costs. The Age of Despair must not happen. <laughs> there is no time for your little musings, my friend. Give up. 
Admit your defeat! Meet your pathetic end! I will fulfill my purpose! Come what may! The resonance is growing stronger. Is the abomination trying to protect itself? Hmm, what an excellent question. Is that truly so? <laughs> <laughs> Eyes on the prize, Greeny! The screaming... This resonance... The creature is not trying to protect itself. Oh, look who's a smarty. All that dough... All that life energy... Tainted, corrupted, abused... It is wailing in despair and anguish! So what? Uh, feeling compassionate? It is still a spawn of the darkness you've sworn to wipe off the face of Earth, bread. <sighs> the seed of despair inside the oven. It is a hindrance to the cycle of nature. But it is also a tormented life, wallowing in agony. That dough... It is... More than just a dark spawn. <laughs> Oops, I'm not following. I... Know what I must do. Nah, don't give it too much thought. Shoot away! Fulfill your mission! Shoot it down! The stench of the dark despair coming from the oven. Hello? Less talking, more shooting. I'm getting bored out here, you know. I want drama! I want to see the protector of life destroying life. Not that your arrows can reach it anyway. But at the same time, I hear a faint whisper of life, yearning for salvation. To heal and be reborn, such is the way of nature. Say what now? Hush. I shall cure your pain. My arrow will pierce the darkness and rejuvenate your soul. I will banish the foul malady! And it will torment you no longer! of life flowing to the northeast has found calmness, if for a fleeting moment. This future was concealed amidst the threads of time. The child of the desert forest has brought about a true miracle. Ah, yes. The cleansing wind is coming. I managed to disrupt their evil plans. The devouring of life energy has stopped, if only briefly. The monster and the deceitful voice are gone. And yet, the anguish continues. My strength wasn't enough to save all nature's creatures tormented by the darkness. Time is of the essence. I must share my findings with the other guardians. And here I thought I could have a little fun while my body is still in the works. Ah, divas, can't even stick to the script. Escaped through the drain like some pesky bug. Well, what can you do? Perhaps it's time for something spicier. How about a little destruction? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 